Welcome, my brothers. Scrap, stay woke. Close your eyes as a blue. Open your eyes as a red. Keep your mind on your money. And always keep a swivel head. Back again. At your service, man. Shout out, man, to all the brothers in the man field. Shout out to TMT. Horn Doom. Black Brand. Are you hurt? Or are you healed? My brothers. Again. Are you hurt or are you healed? I want to talk to y'all about that. I'm hurt from all the trauma I experience. So I want to let each and every one of y'all brothers know I'm with y'all. It's okay to be hurt. Our whole lives, since we was wee little, as a black man, we was always taught, suck it up, ignore it, ignore the pain, don't pay no mind, brush it off, this is all through our lives. All the trauma we've been through. We was always taught to brush it off, ignore it, let it go. For years, decades, we was taught this. So again, my brothers, are you hurt? Or are you hell, man? Please, please, there's nothing wrong with expressing your hurts. You all got hurt. You're doing them myself. I'm still hurt. But I'm slowly approaching the healing stage. I'm very extremely close to the healing stage. And I want to thank the Most High. Because without the Most High, I'd be sitting in somebody's grave. I'd be sitting in someone's prison. We all going to die. I'm not saying that. But a long time ago, I'd have been in someone's grave. God. My name written on a dusty tombstone. With old dried out flowers or I'd have been in someone's prison cell dark lonely Thinking, dirty cell with a small amount of privacy. So I want to thank the Most High from every thing, all the trauma. All our heartbreaks, all the disappointments that I grew up, I'm 33, and I'm just unraveling the pain and the hurts. And I know y'all brothers, each and every one of y'all brothers, who grew up in these neighborhoods where it was drugs, murders, prostitutions, 
shootings, stabbings, burglary, thieves, robbers, gangsters, crooked cops. This is what we grew up on before we eligible to work summer youth. We go through all these trials and tribulations from the age of four till we can remember to the age of 14 to be able to work our first job, summer youth. We go through all this trauma, hurt, and pain. For years on, So it's been years and years of things bottled up. Most of us grew up in a single parent home where the dad was gone. That's trauma. Most of us grew up without no mother and no father. That was trauma that we go through. And all the trauma we go through is just swept under the rug. And most of our brothers either get incarcerated or die or commit suicide because all this pain is like a balloon. We keep filling it up with healing. What happens? Eventually it would explode. So when these men commit suicide, when these men commit murder, when these men commit acts of violence, this is the trauma from when they was young. And now it's bursting up. I grew up in a part time mom situation. The father was going typical black female story. Very poor at picking me. Grandmother raised me and salvaged me. Taught me a lot of qualities. Cleaning, cooking, ironing clothes, cleaning our refrigerators. Going to the store, cleaning chicken. Cleaning shrimp. Walking the door, cleaning the bathrooms. She showered me, gave me good qualities. Cause God know where. Know where we have been in the prison system. So I just wanna thank the most high. watching over me and guiding me to not fall victim of a lot of people who I grew up with who got murdered who got stabbed who got shot some of my closest friends that I shared clothes with that we went to free lunch together I seen die my face I seen through my eyes friend laid on the floor in a pool of his own blood while his body laid in that pain because you can't help someone you love. That's hurt because you can't help someone you love. So are you hurt or are you healed? We need your brothers to leave comments 
under about whether you was hurt or if you was healed. I'm still hurt, but I'm approaching the healing stage. Been through trauma with a part-time mother, someone that helped me for nine months, conceived me. And left me out to dry. There's a whole bunch of felonies. A whole bunch of murderers waiting for me. Drug dealers waiting for me. Felonies is dancing. Waiting to meet me. But the most high guided me around that. Going through things with women. Soulless women. I will leave you on the drop of a dime for the smallest issue. But it never was an issue. The reality is she's very promiscuous. Yeah, my heart broken by high school women. Girls that I've done and dealt with in high school. And come to find out, she wasn't a freak. She was just having sex with men, double her age, old enough to be her father. And little me, thinking I'm doing something. And this woman, this young girl, who letting men old enough to be her father take advantage of her insides. No, she doesn't. No better. But her promiscuous nature, her whoredom, leads her in a cave of darkness with no light. Family members that claim they love you, but they hurt you. Family members that claim they love you, but will call law enforcement on you. In the drop of a hat, and I experienced that. My own family threatened to call the law on me. Some of them even actually call the law on me. That's pain when somebody you love, somebody you protect, somebody you put your life on the line. They want to see you incarcerated by the white man. But they love you. That's hurt. That's pain. Let it out, let it out, fellas. It's time, let it out. I'm hurt. And I'm going through a lot of hurt. But the most high got me because I'm almost there. I'm almost at the finish line of healing. I'm right there. Maybe less than a meter, less than a quarter meter. I'm close to the finish line. The finish line's arms reach. Close for me to complete the race. I've sweated. My wounds done burnt. My blisters done healed. The leaking blood stopped. been through a lot. Forced to kiss. Two kids. No guidance. 
taught by brainless men about thinking with your penis. Thinking I'm the man, but I wasn't. Hustling up money to dress nice for a female who didn't even love herself. So why would she love me? Weaves, wigs, fake nail, makeup, breast implants, buttocks implants, makeup, eyelashes. I want to impress someone who don't even love them, themselves. Stupid me. Dealing with women who have kids already. Dealing with whores that have kids already. And me knocking up the rotten you crave your bodies. Our brothers need to wake up and teach our sons this so they don't make the same mistakes we made. Teach your boys how these women are because you're just a come up. This is for my brothers who have kids. I know you wish you could do it all over, but the most high put certain things in your face, certain things in your path for you to cross it and deal with it. I made my bed and I'm gonna lay in it. I love my kids with every ounce of blood in me, every ounce of love in me, every ounce of passion in me. I love my kids. I do anything for my kids. But I wish I would have knew what I knew now. It's never having kids, it's who you having kids with. That's the trick out of the whole equation. Who you having kids with? Because you don't know a female suck you by a whore until after you have the kids. Shout out to TMT. As a quote he said, after the first guy she fucked, she becomes a whore. When she get a drop, a drop of the whoredom, that's when she runs wild in different countries. They murdered women who was whores. Because whores mess up families. Whores mess up communities. Whores mess up culture. This is why we had an 83%. Single mother rate, black mother rate in our community. So I just want to let y'all brothers know if you hurt, it's okay. Pretty sure you got your heart broken. I'm pretty sure you got abused. I got abused by family. The closest ones, family. No males to guide us the right way. Like how I'm guiding mine. This all was a game to keep us brothers control, to keep us brothers weak, to keep us brothers submissive. So now that you woke up, all hell is gonna break loose. La Harat. Because the most high is going to pay her for all the abortions she had, all the guys she's hurt it, all the sex she done had, not being married, all the adultery that she caused, all the adultery that she's done, she's going to pay cold cash. She's gonna decay. Out with the old. 
and with the new. I just want y'all brothers to know if you hurt, leave comments of your hurtness and why you was hurt. But we all gonna heal the most high God us. And just know I love y'all brothers. I'm gonna keep it short and simple. Gonna be a part two to this. Shout out to TMT he had. Are you in pain? Are you in peace? And that was one of the videos that inspired me on Are You Hurt? Or Are You Healed? Go check that video out by TMT. Are you in pain? Are you in peace? Shout out to TMT. Black Brand Men Von Doom. We all been hurt. But most of us been hurt by women. Getting our ass whooped by our moms, by our grandmothers. Women you dated who broke your heart and left you. And dealt with the next man, the next, the day after. That separate. That's pain. So I just want to let y'all brothers know I understand. I know what you're going through. You don't got to kill yourself. Thank the most high man, that you made it this far. You survived a black female household. You survived dealing with black females, which is your sisters, your aunts, your mother, your grandmother. I love y'all brothers, man. I'ma do a part two to are you hurt or are you healed? And I'ma catch everything I missed in part one. I'ma catch everything in part two. Cause it's all within. This ain't scripted. This is all from my heart. I take my time to do these videos cause I love each and every one of y'all. And I want each and every one of y'all men to rise up and wise up. Shout out to TMT. Shout out to Black Ram. Shout out to Von Doom. I love each and every one of y'all brothers, man, and all my other brothers. S Y S B M. I love y'all brother it more. All my S Y S N B. And brothers, I love y'all. Oh my S Y S B M brothers, I love y'all. You know my brothers who on this journey with me. I love y'all too as well. Keep being great. Be there for your kids no matter what. If you gotta sleep in front of that house to see them kids, you do that. Cause she's a whore. And she always gonna be one. It's all in a generation. After generation. After generation. She can't help but to be a harlot. She can't help but to be promiscuous. All women are rebellious towards the most high. So put the most high first and leave these women alone. Always put the most high first. I love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. I wanna see y'all brothers in the comments. Add the Patreon to Scrap Stay Woke. And I love each and every one of y'all brothers, man. Shout out to TMT, man. I appreciate you helping me get through this hell and stage. Von Doom, Black Ram, I appreciate y'all getting me through this hell and stage. I love y'all brothers, man. And we will sit at the round table and build each other up. I love y'all. Keep being great. All the people who subscribe to my channel. I love y'all too as well. I just want to help y'all. I don't care about no money. I don't care about no views. I just want to help each and every one of y'all. Because I love y'all and I want y'all to be great. Y'all are great. 
Like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe, stay woke. I love y'all. Keep being great kings.